Hi, my name is John Kai. And I'm Farah. Today, we are at Tampines Park to share with you about a pilot test sustainability project. Named Sustainability at Tampines Park, this project aims to improve food security by encouraging a circular ecosystem for food production. There are three unique projects that work together in a self-sustaining way to reduce waste and bring about economical benefits. Come, let's join us. We are now at the Black Soldier Fly facility located at Tampines Park. This facility is the first step for the community built circular ecosystem for food resilience. The Black Soldier Fly larvae consumes food waste. As such, they are efficient food waste recyclers. The frass produced by the larvae is an organic and good plant fertilizer. Residents can contribute food waste such as unfinished food, vegetable trimmings, meat and fish trimmings, and fruit peels. However, please do not bring in big bones, eggs, and seafood shells, durian husks, watermelon rinds, soups, curries, and other liquids. Let's move on to the next station. We are now looking at a newly converted fish farm. The existing pond in Tampines Park has been converted to farm tilapia fish. Tilapia fish have a low requirement for commercially produced fish food and are thus considered a sustainable source of food. The black soldier fly larvae are high in protein content, which, it, which makes it a good food source for the tilapia fish. Efforts have been put into maintaining the welfare of the tilapia fish. Caretakers regularly clean the pond to maintain the good quality of the water. UV lights are also installed to kill off harmful bacteria that may live in the water. The water is regularly tested to ensure that it is of the highest standard. Tilapia fish farm is built for the community. To see the success of the trial, we seek all park goers and visitors to be socially responsible, do not feed the fish, and do not litter into the pond. Thank you for your cooperation. Now let's move on to the last station. Located at Block 146 Stephanie's Avenue 5, a vertical farming structure is built onto the side of the building. In less care Singapore, it is expensive to build a farm vegetables. The fries from the Black Soldier Fly facility are then used here for the farming of organic and pesticide-free vegetables, such as milk, cabbage, red, spinach, and local lettuce. The, le the vegetables, as well as the tilapia fish, are then harvested for the local community, thus completing the circular ecosystem. Temperature and microclimate sensors helps to track and detect the real-time weather information for irrigation and shading. The state-of-the-art fertigation system helps to ensure precise fertilizer dosing for optimal crop yield and microchip technology is installed for precise use of water and minimizing water wastage. We hope you have learned more about the sustainability at Tampines Park project. You can play your part to support the circular ecosystem by donating accepted food waste. Do drop by Tampines Park to find out more. Thank you and see you around. Bye! Bye!